Welcome to the Cult Kachon! On today's episode, we're bringing you a little segment we like to call Internet Chef. We are making a recipe many, many fans have been sending to us, and this is a cheese beer dip served in a bread boat. I forget where this recipe comes from, but you can find out in the description down below. Let's get to it. Step one of our cheesy, beery, bready, boaty is that we need to cut up our French loaf. And we have that right over here. <laughs> Doesn't have to be exact. All you're doing here is you're making a little, you know, crostini. And then, uh, again, not exact. You're just kind of pulling it out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then we're going to pull out a little bit of excess so we got a nice deep reservoir. You just kind of pull it out of there. I mean, you wash your hands first. Of course, you monsters. <laughs> Bread boat. Toast points. We're on to the cheese mixture for our beer cheese bread boat. We got eight ounces of cream cheese, eight ounces of beer. To help thicken this up is you have a slurry made of a little bit of beer and some cornstarch. That just goes in there, you know, just to help thicken it up. You have a teaspoon of Worcestershire. You got a tablespoon of stone ground mustard. We got some uh, Swiss cheese. And we have some sharp cheddar cheese. Swiss. Get out of there. Get out of there! A very strong cheese to choose. Can I see that? And then you got some cheddar. That is 10 slices of bacon, which the recipe calls for, for some reason. I also forgot to mention it's eight ounces of each cheese. Step one and two are done. We got bread ready, mostly. We got our cheese sauce ready, mostly. And then what we're gonna do is brush the bread slices with an herb and oil mix. Extra virgin olive oil. Boop. We have an herb mix. This is to your choice. So we've chosen chives, parsley, and thyme, and about three cloves of garlic minced. Just kind of spread this on top here, and then we'll kind of, you know, brush it in a little bit. Sclorp. Splop. <laughs> Sclorp. Splop. Cheese, beer, bread, boot. Ooh, look at it. It looks pretty good. I am impressed. Right? It might be pretty good. The recipe calls for, we put this in for five minutes, weirdly enough. Whoa, at 350? At 350. You're a madman. No, 375. You put it in five minutes, mix the cheese sauce, and then put it in for the rest of the time. What is the rest I of the I have time? no idea. I have no idea why they do it that way. I have no idea what that solves, what problem that solves, but that's how they do it. That's how we're going to do it because we're proving the recipe. Goodbye, little Goodbye. one. Goodbye! Our beer, cheese, bread, boat has been in the oven for roughly 35 minutes plus the additional first five minutes. Uh, the recipe says about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna I'm going to say that's as close to as timely as any recipe has been. Pew! Yeah. Ooh, that actually looks fucking good. Yeah, it does. It looks like it puffed up. Ooh. Puffed up a bit, got nice and crispy on some edges here, yeah. which is exactly what you want. Theirs looked a little bit different, a little bit different. I, I feel like they had more cheddar than we do. I don't know. Or a more melty cheddar. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna dip right in the fucking middle because I'm a monster. Mmm. Ooh, that's hot. That does not look <laughs> Oh, it looks very hot. It does not look the slightest bit not delicious. Yeah. Here's the part it where you shove it in your face you hole. The living fuck out of your mouth. Yeah, though. seriously. Say goodbye to your lower jaw, asshole. <laughs> the herb mix is delicious. The French roll is fantastic. 
the uh, the crustiness of that the 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 toast points we made is perfect. The crustini, mm. the crustini, and the cheesy. While it looks like super like melt your face off, it's not too hot. It's actually kind of the perfect te temperature. And look at stringy, nice and stringy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And nice. the 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 Swiss is giving it sort of a mildy mild flavor. You know what I mean? It's not like too intense cheese. It's sort of creamy. You're getting this a really is nice normally strong creamy sort of thing happen. I think it's the cream cheese too, because there's a lot of cream cheese in here. It's delicious. You could eat the spoonfuls of this stuff, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep doing it. Yeah. And the bread bowl. That's a good, it's serving us well. Oh, that was a good piece because I got some of the bacon in there. And that adds an extra layer of flavor and it's delicious. Out of all the recipes we tried, it works right out of the carton. Just read the recipe, do it, and it works. It's a miracle. It's Holy a miracle. shit. Is that the first one? Um, yes. what I would do with this is use... Slightly more meltier cheese. I think you could use like a Gruyere instead of the Swiss. Gruyere's That's ready. bold. Gruyere's. That's bold. Really. And that would set this off even more, I think. I think you could get crazy and put maybe a little bit of feta crumbles in there and get little so like you little salty. Bonkers. Little salty flavor crystals all up inside of there. Maybe even blue cheese crumbles. You never know. Jeez. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. Listen to all, all that stinky kinds cheese. Of stuff. I love stinky cheese though. I want I want a little bit more stinky cheese. That's uh, Oh, nice and stringer there. That's got some heat to it. Ooh. Oh, deepest. I have, I have no no rating. <laughs> If that's the case, you might want to leave some for other people to give an actual fucking rating. Fuck you! You fucking slob. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how much action is in your beard right now. <laughs> all of the action. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Look at all the action going on in there. Ooh, yeah. You can see the cheddar. Yeah. You can see the bacon. You can see all the herbs. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's so good. It's not a twice baked potato, but if you could twice bake a potato loaf <laughs> and just have the cheese and the, the, the sour cream and just all that fucking delicious stuff in there, that's what you got. It's so good. Monster. Yeah. Monster! <laughs> this is like eating your, your sourdough cheddar or your chowder bowl before you even finished your chowder. It's like eating your lifeboat out after you survived the Titanic. <laughs> but here we go. Um, it, the, this is where the cheese was actually like cooked and shit. I'm thinking that this might be a little bit better. Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. When you're done eating the like herb crustini things, you got a whole second meal for you, ready with the bread boat, because there is a completely different flavor profile going down in there. It's all rich and very creamy, very dairy-like, and there's just like, it, it all soaked up in the bread. There's just a little bit of crust on the outside, and the crust is rich too, so this is a nice comparison. Eat the bread bowl, that's what lost in here, eat the bread bowl. Both hands. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, on this episode of the Cold Kitchen, our fudge factor minimal, 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 minimal at best. What was it like? An extra five minutes or something? Uh, yeah, Maybe. it said like around thirty minutes, and it was about forty minutes total. Like that's nothing. You pull this out at thirty minutes, you might get a similar uh, quality product. I I think it's fantastic. You know, yeah. this this is. This is going to be something that's going to satisfy everybody at your Super Bowl party or whatever kind of get together you got. Yep. <clears throat> and it's easy to freestyle too because you can use your own cheeses, you can use your own herbs, yeah. you can get a slightly different flavor of the bread. Mm -hmm. Like it's there's a ton of ways you can go with this and yeah. it's fantastic. You can use different beers. All right, you can check Let's, out yeah. the, you can check out the recipe, host the toast yeah. is the blog 
we got this from. Uh, thanks to all the fans for sending out the, the link to the recipe and everything. Thank you, fans. Thank you for letting us know. A recipe that's going to satisfy everybody but a vegan. <laughs> and who can make them happy? No one! <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of Cold Kitchen. <laughs> Join us next time where you can see us eat all kinds of weird shit that comes from the dregs of the internet. The deep net. Where they have that snuff porn. <laughs> mm. That's where you get the good recipes. Join us next time. Bye-bye!